Hello there, everybody! This is Silent Mist, and welcome back to Hexit Hardcore. We are on episode 3 now, guys. 3 out of 5 in 2 episodes, we will be implementing new rules within the game. So if you have any suggestions as to crazy rules that you might want to enforce on me, please do leave them in the comments. At episode 5, I will be choosing 3 of them and implementing them within the game, so... You can do any... Whoa, that was a loud sound. Uh, you can do anything for giving me crazy constraints saying, oh, you can only do X, Y, and Z, or stuff like that, so, yeah, come a few episodes, I will be doing that, and I guess in this episode, we're just going to head out a little bit, do some adventuring, and hopefully find some more places to conquer, or some new experiences to try out, now, I don't know if these guys are going to aggro on me, so I'm just going to steer clear of them, I'm also going to eat, so I start regenerating some health, because I'm a little hungry right now. I just actually had a snack between the last episode and this episode. Because I was feeling really hungry. And I haven't eaten much today. Actually, the last thing that I consumed was a glass of coffee to wake me up. Because I was feeling pretty tired. And I actually feel like... I feel sick if I just have a glass of coffee and I'm on an empty stomach. Like, I just feel really uncomfortable. And even though I'm awake, I'm like awake and hungry. And I'm just like shaking with... Sadness, because I, I just really don't like being hungry and caffeinated at the same time. It is not a pleasant experience. Uh, so now that I've gotten <laughs> now that I've said that, um, let's just let's just continue. Let's see. We are looking for either new things or just I don't know this. I, I'm regretting my decision coming into this ice winter biome thing. And is there a way that I can uh, zoom in and out with the with the map thing in our upper right hand corner and after pressing a bunch of buttons I come to the conclusion that it's probably possible I just don't happen to know how <laughs> uh yes okay I guess these oh my god that lag oh my god that lag I guess these guys aren't aggroed on me unless I unless I there yeah, unless I attack them first so I'm going to be a nice guy and by that I mean I'm gonna be just smart and not kill them because I'd rather not fight them to be perfectly honest um let's see we can try to conquer this whatever this might be uh is there an entrance what the hell is that I guess there's no entrances there there's an inside um are we gonna die guys I hope we don't die by going up here just put this here. Ah! Stupid action lock. I keep on hitting it. I should really disable it. I mean, there have been a couple of in uh, moments where it's been really useful, but it's starting to become more and more annoying. Uh, is there really nothing up here? Is this all for naught? I guess so. I guess we just wasted our time coming up here, but we're actually pretty close to where we spawn, I think. I'm pretty sure we spawned up there two episodes ago. So, wow. We've, we've come in, a, in one large circle. And now we need to continue. Hopefully we'll be able to find something good soon. I'm looking for just... Not you, sheep. I'm not looking for you anymore. There was a period of time when, yes, you were important. Unfortunately, that time has passed. And you are no longer important to me. Ugh. Depressing, yes. Man, I am just, like, burping. And I don't even know. I, 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 I don't even know. Actually, I want to see what this charging thing does maybe it gives me like more range oh oh ho, ho. what are these that was what how how did i how? Hmm. whatever i just did that that was pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i have no clue how i did that but there are these floating ice crystally things now um a diamond scythe yeah that's that's about all that i uh well, that I know about it, it's a scythe and apparently makes those floaty ice block things. You learn something new every day. Okay, do we have apples? Yeah, we're going to chop down these trees in hopes of getting some apples. Ah, because golden apples are going to be probably a good thing to have in the future. So, no point in letting the opportunity go when you have these gigantic trees. I mean, there are probably better ways of getting materials, but... This will have to do for now, and these big trees, they're normally a huge annoyance, but now with Tree Feller, they are, like, the least, the smallest thing to ever be concerned about. And how are we doing on wood? 
Um, I'm going to switch out wood, actually. I much prefer oak wood for no other reason than I like how it looks with the uh, current crappy wood that we had. So let's just pick this stuff up. Ooh, more apples. And look, our inventory's full. Actually, let's swap it out with the other kind of wood as well. Haha. <laughs> actually, yeah, I was thinking maybe we had a different stack of wood that we could replace that isn't like full but turns out it is and I, I just don't like redwood I mean it's pro it, it, it's a decent building block but as a ah as a survival block I'd rather have oak for no other reason than I like how it looks and how are we doing on apples now 28 the thing is we can turn them into uh, golden apples and those could save us in a pinch so I like them and I thought that bird was on fire as it was as was flying past us. Oh, game. Oh, you. Look at what you've done to me. Made me think that everything burns. Ah, yes. So, let's see. What can we talk about, guys? What fun life things can we talk about? Anime! I've been watching so much anime as of lately, guys. Oh, my goodness. Like, for a few days, I was watching an episode or a series. An episode a day, guys. I've been watching so much. No, I've been watching a series a day. Um, specific Holy crap, that was terrifying. Um... <laughs> Specifically, I was watching uh, Kyokai, Kan Kyokai no Kantana, Kanada, Kanada, not, not Kantana, Kanada, which is really good. I didn't, I w didn't know what to expect from it, but after, <laughs> Jesus, those things make scary sounds, and my sounds are kind of turned down. Um, Kyokai no Kanada, Kanada, which is really, really good, and I've been having like issues with remembering how to spell it, because I always think it's Kanata, Ka Kantana instead of Kanada for some odd reason, but yeah, that's that's been a thing, and actually, I think, let's, let's go venturing into this thing, let's hopefully we don't die, oh that's a scary looking thing, uh, don't know if I should press that I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid it oh my god This is horrifying. I am like scared for my life right now. I am I gonna die? It's getting louder. <laughs> ah! Which door do I want to go into? <laughs> oh goodness. Down downloading <laughs> Oh god. Oh, we're underground now. Um, nope, we're going back in. <laughs> ah, that's a scary sound. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, is is this is this death? I'm just gonna crouch as I. Oh God, guys. Um. Um. Oh, this is so trippy. Like you, ah. Uh, at least the scary sounds have gone away. Um, am I gonna die? Let's hope not. Oh no, the scary sounds are back. Okay, let's let's go. Oh god. What are these? What are these? No tripwire. Is there anything that's going to kill me? I don't know. Okay, there's tripwire there. I don't know what it does, but ah, ah! <laughs> what would that have done? Would I have just died there? I think I could have just died there. Is there like death down there? There's something down there. I don't know if it's death. Do I? I don't know if I want to go down there either. But well, I guess <laughs> we're already this far in here, so no point in not. Oh, 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 yeah, we're not going down there. <laughs> nope, we're gonna nope right on out of there. Okay, uh, let's just let's just go. Oh, okay. Um, I am I am okay with this. I think. Uh, is there something down there? Ooh, that. I don't know if we just want to jump down there. So we're not going to. Instead, we're just going to. We might have to, actually, at this rate. <laughs> now, yeah, you can fill in these blocks with other blocks. I guess that's what we're going to do, even though this seems to go to nowhere. Oh. Well, there's something down there. 
what exactly I'm not particular. Oh, there's there's definitely something down there. Four chests. Aqua affinity, a bunch of buckets, some useless stuff. Um, is there is this oh oh Goodbye, water! <laughs> Goodbye! I'm just gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna do this. And now we won't accidentally walk into it, I hope. Uh, let's see, some iron bread. Sharpness one is a very meh enchant. Not even gonna bother. Efficiency two, also kind of meh. All of this stuff is just... Nah. We'll focus on getting out. Ah! I wanna get out! Okay, let's, we're gonna retrace our steps, and, okay, we'll head back this way. <laughs> Into this terrifying room that almost killed us. Uh, is there anything else out here? Oh! Oh! What are those? <laughs> do, oh! do I? Do I, the question is, do I tr Oh, I thought that just disappeared. The question is, do I truly want to know what the hell that is? Okay, we're leaving, we're leaving. I don't want to know what that is. I really don't want to know what that was. Oh God, I, I don't want to be in here anymore, guys. Can, can we leave? Can we please just get the hell out? I have a feeling those things were like gonna just murder. I, I, was I about to be eviscerated? Was that what was gonna happen? Oh. Yeah, I have a feeling that I was just about to be eviscerated or something. Okay, okay. Is this is this the way back into the... Oh, okay. Okay. Now that that horror story is over, let's just uh go the hell to sleep. Because, um, yeah, I feel like I just cheated death. And cheating death is not something that I... Ooh, is not something that I want to do. Because death is not a fun guy to play with. He will kill you. Like, you will quite literally die. And I just want these apples, actually. Can I have can I have that apple? Why do you have to be in such a difficult to get place? More apples. Yay! Huh. Okay, well now that I've uh, lost a few years of my life to the terrors of whatever the hell I saw in that place, I'm gonna I'm gonna just continue my adventure now. Uh how far are we? We're not that far out. I think is that that might be the forest that we were once in. And once again, I see that bird, and I think it's a bird that's on fire. Is this the doorway that we just came in? I don't think so. What? Okay. I don't know what that is, but it didn't kill me, which is always a good thing. Uh, let's just focus on not dying by staying alive. Yes, guys, you, hear, you heard that right. We're going to focus on not dying by staying alive. I'm actually curious, really curious as to what those eye things are, though. I don't particularly want you guys to tell me, because sooner or later I'll figure out, and hopefully they won't kill me. Maybe they just want to be my friends. Maybe they're actually very friendly. It just so happens that they look really scary and look like I am going... They make me... They just give the feeling that you're about to be, you know, annihilated, but... Yeah, I, I skedaddled once I saw them, and I was just like, okay! Well, um... Yeah, I was talking about anime before we, we went there. Um, Kyokai no Kanata was really good. I'm uh, just trying to get my mind off of things now. Uh, let's see, what else did I watch? I watched, I can't remember the Japanese name for it, but it's like Garden of the Problem Children, which was a hell of a lot better than I thought it would have been. Like, upon watching it, I thought it was going to be kind of eh, like just from the first episode. But... I quickly realized afterwards that, oh, wow, this is actually going to be a really enjoyable series. And then instead of being 12 episodes long, like, what the heck? I thought I just saw something right here. Instead of only being 12 episodes long, like most series are, it was 10 episodes long with two uh, videos in the folder that were the intro and outro, which made me very sad because I was not expecting an ending there. And as of right now, there is no second season announced. So, yeah, I am... I am a sad potato because that series ended. Those things are horrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Ooh, Sakura trees, my favorite. Um, hmm. But yeah, there was that. Uh, let's see, I'm watching Monogatari, the second series right now, which is technically the third season of Monogatari. And it was 
really good. Is that guy going to hurt me? He doesn't seem to be aggroing on me, so no. I'm going to assume no. Um, Monogatari, the second season, was very good, or is very good. I'm in the middle of watching it. I was actually watching it a little bit before I started recording today's series of episodes, and I've already been here. <laughs> Hi there, Mr. Door. You're scary. You know that, right? Like, I feel like I'm going to die the next time I go into one. I wonder if that's the entrance that we went into. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue this way where there aren't scary doors with eyeball things that want me to die. But uh, there's another series that I watched. What was it? Um, oh, Kot K Kot what was it? Kotaru or something like that, and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would have been. Um, for no other reason than. Well, uh, wait, what am I, no, I, it turned out a lot more average than I thought it would have been, because it was, it was just a really average, it started off really good, but then it just kind of went to something that was so okay, that it disappointed me a little bit, because it had a lot of promise in the beginning, and then it just mad right, right on out of awesomeness, so, yeah, that's a thing, that's most definitely a thing, um... And there's this might be the ice biome that we've been around. Have we just gone in a really big circle again? Like seriously, seriously, seriously? Cause let's just make it through. What? <laughs> that does not look natural. I can't help but to feel that that's some sort of dungeon or an igloo or something along those lines. And I hear fire, so that oh, there there are blazes in this. Blazes in an igloo? How? <laughs> How could that ever be a good idea? Like, seriously. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, God. I just... Bye. <laughs> nope. We're not going in there. Instead, we're gonna... I see you. I see you entrance to the scary place. Does that mean we're gonna go into the scary place? Yeah, that does mean that we're gonna go into the scary place. Oh, crap. Are we back where we were before? Is there a bottom? There is a bottom. And I don't see these scary eyeball things, so we're just going to pretend like there aren't any. And let's just, ouch. This really suck. Like, wow. Not a single good item. Let's just block off the entrance to death. Oh, I thought I just saw... <laughs> I'm so scared of this place now. It's just like every time I come in here, I assume I'm going to see those those eyes and they're just going to want to kill me. Uh, but it would seem like there really isn't much in this one. Let's just skedaddle on out. Oh, yep, we're back where we started and we'll just continue this way. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's just stand our tippy toes and hope that we don't die do we have cooked pork chops yes we do so we'll kill these pigs is it turning to night already really actually having this having this fire aspect is really good because it just cooks our food for us which saves me the effort of having to cook it granted i think we have looting on here that kind of gets rid of the looting aspect but i'm fine with that <laughs> not gonna eat that much but I do like having the extra food. Now if I can just figure out how the heck this thing works. Yeah, it did that again. I, don't, I have no clue how to actually make that happen. I guess it has to recharge after you do that. Hi. I don't know, guys. I'm I'm just a confused little potato. Like, if I do it again... Oh, it did it again. Oh, man, they, they died. <laughs> they just, uh... Dead. D-E-D, -E dead. How are we doing on food? 36 pork chops. That is not bad. Okay, let's continue forward. I need to eat eat this steak and there you are son you're still still not midday we're about a little past noon maybe two or three o'clock uh, let's just continue our adventure hopefully we won't stumble upon anything that means death uh, let's see what else have I been doing I've been playing Rune Factory a lot as of late which has been a lot of fun like Man, I didn't realize that Rune Factory was so much fun until I started playing it again. Rune Factory 4 has been, like, my life for the last... Well, it, it's been my evenings for the last couple of weeks. And by evenings, I mean, like, I don't know, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. every day. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been going to bed pretty late because of that game. It's, it's a lot of fun, but 
it's been screwing up my sleep schedule a little bit since I've been trying to wake up at noon every day. It's just been hella derpy. Hella derpy. Uh, let's see. What do we have? In this general area, we have some more pigus, which I don't care about. <laughs> they all died. <laughs> You're dead. You're dead. How does it feel to be dead? And we get plenty of steak. Yeah, I guess we can use that to our advantage whenever we want to. Uh, let's just head, continue to head over this way. Are those polar bears in a swamp? Oh, no, there's there's most definitely a winter biome over here. Ah, I wonder how long we'll stay alive this time if we will truly complete everything. Okay, let's 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 go. These are cool lily pads with flowers on them. That's it's very pretty. It's a very nice touch, I do have to say. Ribbit to you too. Ribbit to you too. Hi there, Mr. Polar Bear. Polar Bear Poo. Poly Poo! Uh, I should never call him Poly Poo again. I'm I'm sorry that I had to put you guys to that. Why is this game so loud? I have the sounds turned like all the way down, but it's just like, LOL, I'm loud. <laughs> guys, I just feel so derpy today. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just run through here. We don't seem to be running into anything of merit to explore or conquer. So we'll just keep on going on our journey. We've made some decent progress today. Uh, we can try to take this out. The blazes spawn in there. No, creeper's gonna spawn in there, so. Oh my god. So much stuff. Ow. Ah! What the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> I'm so confused as to what just happened. Let's just take out the creeper spawners. Oh, it's an enchanted creeper. I freaking hate those. Ah! Yeah, we're going to wait on that until we get some better gear. Although uh, it's almost nighttime, so I guess, I guess we're going to set up base, just a small little bed, and then call it an episode. Yeah, guys, it's it's been a good episode. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like down there. It helps out quite a bit. You'd be surprised as to how much that little smack of your mouse can actually do. And also, if you are interested in hosting your own Minecraft server, even though this has nothing to do with multiplayer, this series right here, please do go check out our description. There will be a link that will direct you to VO Host. The people that are currently hosting our Red Cube public server, which will be up soon for you guys, and you'll get to see just what they're capable of doing. Personally, with the experiences that I've had, it's been nothing but good because they are very competent people who are quite nice. So, yeah. That's going to be all for now, guys. I do hope you enjoyed today's video, and for some reason, I cannot place a bed. What? <laughs> Can I place a bed in this house? Maybe? In here? Why can't I place this bed? Um, okay, for some reason I can't place a bed. So, guys, that's going to be all for now, and I guess I'll see you all next time when I hopefully can place a bed. Oh, my bed is gone. That makes me so Oh, God, what is the world doing? What is the world doing? What has the world come to? See you all next time. Farewell.